Who did you vote for and why? Yeah, so thank you. I voted for Nikki Haley, and it was certainly a strategic vote. Um, I think the DNC is fairly resolute in their nomination for Joe Biden. Uh, and while I wouldn't vote for her in a general election, particularly on our differences with uh, climate change solution, a woman's right to bodily autonomy, or uh, incarceration rates, I think a vote for Nikki Haley is helps diminish Trump's influence in the RNC and their nomination, but is also a vote towards democracy. Oh, yes. In many states, Democrats are not even giving their own people a choice for president. Even as polls show, the majority of Democrats do not want Joe Biden. That's how they save democracy. And consider this. Despite all the harm Joe Biden has done to their families and to this country, despite Biden screwing over New Hampshire Democrats, removing their first in the nation status, they still made him the winner in a write-in campaign. This is a valuable bit of insight into the Democrat mind. No matter how many times their politicians screw them over, they will still vote for those Democrats. But back to Nikki Haley and her love affair with the left. As you just saw, Nikki Haley is the darling of the left, the media, and the establishment Republicans. That will all change in a general election. The late John McCain found this out. CNN, MSNBS, they all loved him in the primary. He was the most reliable conservative backstabber among the Republicans at that time, calling his own voters wacko birds. But when the general election came around, the press turned on the, the maverick because when it comes to supporting Democrats, the press will only support an original rather than a Democrat wannabe like John McCain or Nikki Haley. And, and Haley knows this. In fact, I think she and those who support her are banking on this. Think about it. A weakened, fractured GOP made so by this pro-Democrat Republican division, exacerbated by a long and drawn-out primary, all but assures the Democrats' iron grip on the throat of America. Still, it takes money to mount what Nikki Haley and her backers know as a losing, albeit brutal, primary campaign. How is she managing that? For a potential answer, we turn to Carrie Lake. She's running for Senate as an America First candidate in Arizona. It's because of that that some very powerful people don't want her to run. Recently leaked audio obtained by The Chris Alcedo Show features a conversation between Lake and a man identified in Arizona news publications as Jeff DeWitt, the chairman of the Republican Party of Arizona, at least he used to be. The audio tape reveals that DeWitt is a middleman, conveying what news organizations in the United States and around the world are classifying as a bribe from some very powerful people in the East to keep her out of politics for two years. So what's going on? What is, uh, I'm assuming this is our friend. Uh, this is, this is, this is back East. They, there are very powerful people that want to keep you out. I know oh, they do. But they're willing to put their money where their mouth is in a big way. So, this conversation never happened. Th this is crazy, though. They should want me. I'm a great candidate. People love me. These people are corrupt. So what, what, what's going on? Who is it? What? Forget the who. Let me just tell you the what. Let's just say there are people calling around saying, no, they can't repeat this. Never repeat this. If you say no, don't. Because they say, I got offered to buy out. Don't, don't, yeah. don't use it. Because then we lose our ability to get things done. Wow. Don't tell folks that nameless, faceless, and powerful people are trying to pay America First candidates to stay out of politics because we lose our ability to get things done. Really? What things? Things like 9 million illegal aliens flooding the United States. Things like government contracts and immunity deals for big pharma. Things like taxpayer-funded abortions, things like runaway inflation, surging interest rates, making homes unaffordable, a war on energy forcing us into undependable, toxic green energy alternatives, skyrocketing energy prices. Yes, getting so many things done with a dictatorial Democrat party and a neutered GOP.